Now to new concerns over safety for women while running after the body of a missing Arkansas jogger was found. Authorities are now urging people to take extra precautions. ABC's Janae Norman joins us with more on this. Good morning, Janae. Hey, Cecilia, good morning. It is an unfortunate reality. Women wanting to get some exercise, get some fresh air, go for a run, and end up getting attacked. But there are things you can do to protect yourself. She went out for a run, but never came home. 25-year-old Sydney Sutherland disappeared last week after leaving her Arkansas home to go jogging. Volunteers and police launching an intense search effort to find her. She's very close to her family, and um, we just know that she wouldn't leave on her own without um, contacting somebody. But Friday, the worst fears realized. Sutherland's body discovered near her home. According to local reports, a suspect now under arrest. The tragic end to the missing woman's disappearance is also renewing attention to the potential risks women face when running alone. In recent years, all these women simply out for a jog, attacked in broad daylight. And with so many gyms still closed around the country, many people are turning to running outdoors to stay fit. According to Forbes, Reebok has more than doubled its online sales from last year. And New Balance has also seen a huge increase in demand for running gear. So with more women hitting the roads and trails alone in these socially distant times, safety expert Jared Arthur has two recommendations to keep in mind when lacing up. First, ditch the headphones. The earlier that I can hear somebody approaching me or that I can see somebody approaching me, then I can respond in a way that's going to give me a better chance at getting away to someplace safe. Second, avoid baggy clothes and ponytails. Opt for clothing that's form fitting, that doesn't have a hood, and opt for hair in a side braid or a low ponytail or tucked up and underneath your cap makes it more difficult for somebody to grab a hold of you. And some other things to keep in mind, switch up your routine so you're not running the same route every day. Be aware of your surroundings, even looking behind you as you run. Go with a group of friends. There's power in numbers. And make sure to tell someone when you're going for a run, when they can expect you back. You can even use your phone to share your location. Cecilia. Yeah, those are all really good tips. Okay, Janae, thanks so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.